Stamping friends, it's Jackie Ball Hayes from Clampin' Stampers. I am a demonstrator with Stampin' Up and I have some super fun cards to share with you today. I am using the Waterfront stamp set. Now this is a brand new stamp set that's in the 2018 Occasions catalog and I have to admit, when I first saw it in the catalog, it did nothing for me. At first glance, I'm like, ew, I've gone crazy. I truly have. This was just what I made the other day. Actually, I think there's more down on my table. I couldn't stop. It was addicting. This stamp set truly makes you feel like an artist. Um, I have to confess, I am not an artist. I wanted to learn to watercolor a couple years ago, so I thought, I'm, I could do this. I took some watercolor classes. Oh my gosh, failed miserably. So I've always had this heart for wanting to get a nice watercolor look, but as you know, I am all about quick and easy and not messy. So when I started playing with the stamp set, love it. And I want to show you today how to get some really quick and easy results that anybody can do will make you feel like an artist and you're going to fall in love with the stamp set. So give me a second. I'm going to just adjust my camera so it's on my stamping surface and I'll be right back with you. So are you ready to learn how to feel like an artist? Now we're going to start and just kind of take a peek at these two cards. Can you tell the difference? Design is basically the same, exact same colors, but look at how this one truly looks watercolored, painted with watercolors versus this one that's just stamped. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start out and just show you how I stamped this one. Um, I think this is really how the stamp set's intended to be used, but it'll give you a feel at how easy it is to use these stamps and kind of mixing and matching them with different colors. So we're going to start out. I have all the stamps I'm using are ready on blocks and I have a whole ton of colors here. I'll try to tell you what all the colors are as I'm using them. Now, if you can't remember what I all use in the blog post, and I'll have a link in the video, the blog post will list all the colors that I use and it'll also give you pictures and dimensions and everything you need to make this card. So I am using shimmery white cardstock. Doesn't really matter so much on this first card that we're making, but it will on the second one and you'll see why. So I've inked up my mountain and I've inked it up in soft suede and we're going to just stamp it a few times here to kind of build our mountain range. Now, this stamp set really grabbed my heart because I lived out in Montana. That's actually where I met my husband and I miss the mountains here in Michigan so much. So we stamped it three times. Now I want to stamp a couple lighter images to get some depth. So I inked it up and I just went on scrap paper first to get it just a smidgen lighter. And we can just kind of keep building our mountain range. And you can see how we got the depth going in there. Now, the other thing with this stamp set, as you play with it, not any cards are going to turn out exactly the same. It's just the way it is. Um, but that's kind of the fun part of it. So now we've got garden green and let's just go ahead and put some grass down here. There's two different um, images that I'm using just to kind of make it look a little bit different. You can kind of fill that in. I don't know, you know, when I'm stamping with this, like if it's flowers, I can say use the leaf or the stem or the daisy or whatever. This one's kind of hard to describe. What do you call it? Call these. So then we're going to grab this one. It kind of looks like a mountain that way, but it doesn't have the nice peaks. It's more intended to go this way to give us our water. Okay. Or you could use this for grass or all different things, but we're going to ink up in Marina mist and we'll just go ahead and stamp that one there. Now this, let's see, we need to clean this one because we're using the same stamp again. And this time I'm going to use dapper denim. I want just a little bit of a darker blue in there. So we kind of got our water going there. And then let's just go ahead and, um, I can't remember exactly how I made mine originally. We're gonna clean that stamp off a little bit. And I've got some crumb cake just to kind of fill in here a little bit, just so we're building our scene and have a lot going on. Then our pine trees, we wanted them nice and dark. So I took Tranquil Tie and we'll do some pine trees there. And let's bring some more over here. And you can just see how we're starting to get the depth. Um, possibly one of my favorite stamps is the speckle stamp that's part of this set. If you guys have stamped for a long time, way back when, 20 some years ago, Stampin' Up! always had a speckle stamp. And it was probably my favorite stamp that I used on almost every stinking card I made. And then we've had a couple different versions of it. Then it goes away and now it's back in the set. So it's gonna be used on a lot of things. And there we go. Oh, let's put a sun in there. We'll add our, our sun up above the mountain. And there's our card. 
We could add any words to this. There's some great greetings in the stamp set, but you can make this a birthday card, a sympathy card, great masculine cards, quick, easy, and isn't it beautiful? Love the images. But let's throw these aside and let's talk about this card because this is what really got me hooked on the stamp set. I like the watercolor look. It doesn't just look so stamped, although that's what we do, right? But it was so easy to do. So I want to show you because I promise you're gonna get hooked just like I did with this. We're gonna use our same colors and we're gonna kind of stamp in the same order that we did. So let's go ahead and stamp our mountains. Now the only difference is we're going to stamp a couple images and we do wanna work fairly rapidly here. And then I'm going to take my aqua painter. I should have done this first. Want to give it a little bit of a squeeze, make sure you've got water coming down. And then I am going to simply paint right over the images that I stamped. Now you don't want too much water, okay? If it starts to pool up on you, kind of dry off your painter a little bit. I want to, I'm not squeezing, okay? Once I get it, that water flowing, you don't want to keep squeezing it because you don't want more. But I am going over the entire image because I want it, I want to get all those stamp lines basically kind of smeared out of there. Now we'll go ahead and we'll put on a little bit more ink. Now I am pooled up a little bit there. You can kind of see the water. Um, if it's kind of wet yet, I stick it under and just dab it a little bit. Dab some of that moisture off, oops. And then we're gonna go ahead and do those lighter mountains just like I did before because okay, that's what builds the depth. And once again, go ahead and use our water on them. Now, part of the key to being successful here is when you switch colors. And well, in here I didn't even switch colors, I just did the lighter shade. Make sure that one is dried before you stamp the other one, like right up next to it or on top of it, because that's what keeps the outline of the image and gives you your, your more depth looking. I guess these mountains got a, a little light there because I dabbed them off, but that's okay. Because you know what? I can actually come back on here. We'll use that same stamp, add a little bit more of that soft suede right over it. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're smearing out the lines. And there, we got a little bit more depth going. Then we're gonna switch colors exactly like what we were doing before. And we'll go ahead and we'll start, let's do some garden green. Okay, we'll do one there, we'll do one there. And again, only stamp you know, one or two images at a time before you go ahead and, and use your aqua painter. Mm -hmm. Okay, that green can go up over those mountains a little bit. Okay, but you can see here, these colors are bleeding together just a smidgen, um, that's okay. But the drier that that soft suede is before I go ahead and I put another color in, the less they're gonna bleed together and kind of keep your distinct colors. So let's do a little more grass going there. Okay, But each time we're smearing it out so you're not seeing the stamp lines. Now let's go ahead and do our water. Okay, So we're gonna use some Marina Mist. And we're gonna go right there with it. Now, because I'm going from green to blue, just paint on your scrap paper a little bit to make sure we don't have the green ink still on there. And then just you know, smear this on here. Again, I am the quick and easy person, okay? A, a true watercolor artist is probably like gasping at what I'm doing, but Jackie is all about quick and easy cards and how can I get, you know, a nice artistic look with, without being an artist? Then we can go ahead and we'll put the darker blue in there. I'm getting kind of sloppy here. I picked up a little of that ink, but that's okay. This one's for demonstration purposes only and then I'll show you my, my real ones that I made. Now. We want to just kind of finish off down at the bottom here with a little more, or we'll put a little brown in there, or this is the um, the crumb cake. Just kind of fill it in. And again, let's smear those colors around so they don't look stamped. There we go. Now, pine trees, where are you? There we go. We've got the Tranquil Tide. I love how these, um, pine trees actually stamp. And then when you when you take your aqua painter, again, make sure you don't have too much water. You know, we're not pooling up. We just want enough water to, to smear out those images. So there's our trees coming up.
up over our mountains. And then let's go ahead and do one more. We'll come over here with those. There, smear those colors out a little bit. Got to put a few speckles in there because I think that adds some dimension into our water. And what else? Oh, we need our sun. See, I almost forgot the sun the second time. So let's go ahead and put the sun right there. Again, get that blue off or the green off here and just smear it around. And there's our watercolor look. Now I caught some edges on there, but I'm not gonna worry about it because I was just showing you how to do it. So let's go ahead and look at our finished one. But I am super happy. Actually, we've got some blue going on in the sky there. And all I did for that one, let's see, let's get the darker blue off that. I actually took my soft sky, okay, on the same stamp that we did the water down there. And I just put a little bit of that soft sky up here. Okay, now, doesn't look great like that. But once again, let's get our yellow off to smear those colors out. The lines and I'll cover up my, my little bit of tan. And there's our sky. So what do you think? Which one do you like better? The one with the aqua painter and a little bit of water coloring or the image is just stamped? Personally, this way. I don't know that I can make cards like this after doing so many of these. Let me just go through and I'll show you some of the other ones. Um, the blog post for this video won't have all of these pictured, but I will eventually feature all of these as well. But it's the exact same technique and same colors. I just kind of made my landscapes a smidgen different each time. And then I started playing, up oh, here's one more. And then I started playing with the same stamps, switched my colors and used the palm tree instead and started doing beach scenes. My other love, if I'm not in the mountains, I wanna be by the beach. So there's a couple beachy ones. So I hope you like that quick and easy, simple technique for using the waterfront um, stamp set. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. If you need the Occasions catalog, let me know. I would be happy to send you one. Don't forget, it's celebration time right now. Free products when you place an order. Um, check out my blog. I also have a monthly special on my blog. But I'm here to help you with all your stamping needs. So if you have questions about these cards, the technique I'm using, or anything else stamping, make sure to get a hold of me. I'm a full-time 24-7 demonstrator, and I love to talk with people and help people. So again, if you're looking to purchase this stamp set, the link to my blog where you can order it will be at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to sharing lots more quick and easy stamping with you. Have a stamp happy day.